Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can spice up your uh, internet uh, with uh, Find uh, People uh, card. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Um, so look, um, let's say you built an internet. I mean, similar to what you see on, on the screen right here, right? This is uh, an internet I have. And you know, you added all the content and um, look at this widget over here all right uh this is not the regular you know web part you uh, get in sharepoint uh this is actually called viva card this is only available uh for in case if you uh, register your site as a home site and essentially set up the whole viva connections uh, thing um what is viva connections um look here is my internet and uh, if I go to Teams, you know, of course, I have all these different teams in here. And uh, on the left hand side, I also have a button called Internet. And if I click on this button, look at this. I get to see that same Internet right inside of Microsoft Teams. So essentially, uh, this is something called Viva Connections. Uh, this is not what I'm going to explain in this video. I actually um, have articles and uh, videos uh, you know, on my channel and articles on my blog about this topic. So feel free to check it out. What I'm going to explain to you though today is in this video uh, is this particular widget because I love it so much. Uh, I think it's a nice widget uh, to a nice card, you know, to spice up your uh, your internet because you can look up um, essential information for your colleagues, right, from the convenience of your homepage. You don't really need to navigate away uh, to, you know, SharePoint start page or Outlook, uh, you know, to find this information. Uh, first, let me show you how this works, and then I'll show you how to add it. So let's say I'm looking up, you know, Mary's information right here. You just type in the name, and as you can see, it gives me that little uh, card, um, you know, with Mary's, you know, title and, um, you know, role and uh, photo and email and essentially the basic information coming from uh, employee uh, directory. Uh, and yeah, it's a pretty, you know, a pretty cool widget. Uh, works really fast. You just type in the name, and as you can see, it presents all the information. Now, how do you get uh, this on the page? Uh, remember what I said in the beginning of the video. Um, this is not uh, kind of a typical, you know, web part. All right, this is not a typical web part. If you try to, let's say, uh, edit, you know, the page and try to uh, add the the web part, you are not going to. Uh, to find it here. There is actually, a, you know, a, a web part called people web part, but it's something else. It's not, uh, it functions a little bit differently. Um, how do we get this card in place? All right. Um, as I already mentioned, um, you know, because we, um, you know, we registered this site uh, as the home site uh, and we set it up for view connections, as you can see, it appears uh, right here on, um, right, you know, within the Teams application. Um, essentially, uh, what you need to do is configure Viva, what's something called Viva dashboard. Um, let me show you how that's done. I'm going to uh, navigate back, uh, you know, to SharePoint side of things. Again, same site. So you uh, essentially click the gear icon. And because we uh, uh, set the site as a home site, uh, and as you can see, we have uh, quite a bit of uh, extra options that we usually have. And one of those uh, options is something called Manage Viva Connection. So let's click. And over here on the dashboard, we just say View Dashboard. And essentially, uh, what you're going to see here are those, you know, the same uh, cards uh, that you saw uh, appearing on the, uh, on the home page. Uh, and um, essentially to modify, I already have a few, as you can see, it rolls up some tasks from Planner and I have this Find People widget. If you want to add additional ones, click Edit. And you can configure, as you can see, both you know mobile and desktop experience. We're in desktop, so let's do that. Uh, and this is where you add a new card, all right? so. The process is kind of the same. I mean, the look and feel is kind of the same as if you're editing a you know SharePoint page and edit, adding the web parts. But if you notice, uh, essentially all of those uh, look completely differently. They are not 
you know, the regular like web parts like hero and, you know, group calendar and stuff like that, that you, you get to see uh, on the regular, you know, uh, SharePoint page. Uh, these are called cards. This only exists. Uh, they, this only exists uh, again on the sites uh, that have been set up for Viva connections. So, and I already have this widget over here, uh, but um, you know this card, I guess. But here it is, in case if you you know want to add a new one, uh, and yeah, let me delete it, just like that. And essentially, you add it, you you know move it where you want it, you know to to appear, I guess. All right, so very similar experience to as if you're editing you know web parts on the page, and then yeah, all you have to do is just click republish, and. Um, that's where you can configure Viva dashboards. And then what you need to do is you need to add Viva dashboard itself to the page. And again, I already have it, but I'm going to click the edit button and let me show you. Now, Viva dashboard uh, is, uh, you know, essentially a web part uh, right here, you see. So Viva dashboard, I know it's kind of confusing those things that I showed you with the cards appearing on Viva dashboard, but then the Viva dashboard itself is a web part on our SharePoint page. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So here it is, here it is, as you can see, you can add this Viva and it adds whatever cards that dashboard already has. So um, yeah, you just pretty much republish and that's it, as you can see, uh, the page now, um, you know, has been updated. Uh, and if I go to Microsoft Teams, I should pretty much, uh, you know, see the same uh, kind of experience. Let's give it a try, just like that, as you can see. All right. So same thing. And now uh, uh, web part is, uh, or our card, I should say, is ready to go. And I can now look up my information about my users from the convenience of uh, the home page uh, that is available in Teams. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this uh, particular, um, you know, video. Uh, this only kind of makes sense um, if you have set up a, an internet, but not just the the regular internet. If you set up the the Viva connections uh, and essentially uh, embedded your uh, your um, uh, you know internet inside of Microsoft Teams, only at that point it kind of gets all this uh, superpowers. Um, you know, in terms of Viva, you know, connections, the dashboard and the many other things, all right? So that's all, again, I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful and informative. As always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you. Goodbye.